Good morning, students. So, in last class, sir, we are discussing about ligands. Sir. In the type of ligands, sir, dendrite ligands, we discussed. Sir. In that, uh, so tetradentate. Tetradentate ligands. So that is uh, amino triacetate. CH two COO minus. CH two COO minus. And one lone pair. Nitrogen has a lone pair. The next three negatives. Total of four members are donated. So that's why it is a tetradentate negative ligand. So this is amino triacetate. So this is mean. So negative charge is ended with the O. So try to remember. Next N. So triethylene tetraamine. So this is a neutral one. So triethylene. So this is the ethylene part. So three ethylenes. So tetraamine. So triethylene tetraamine. So that is a triene. So it is represented as a triene, triethylene tetraamine. So these are the four donations, four donors. So tetraamine. Next one, pentaamine. So penta means five. So five lone pairs are donated now. That is a famous H E D T. So that example is H E D T. Actually, E D T A only E D T A that is hexadentate ligand. One side is occupied with the H, so that's why it becomes as a penta. We'll see that. Yeah. C H two C H two N C H two C O O H C H two C O O H C H two C O O minus C H two C O O minus So this is ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. Ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. So we are treated with H E D A. One negative charge is. Neutralize them with the H plus. So how many donors? One, two, three, four, five donors. Next, hexadentate ligand. So the example is E D T. So here, instead of O H, you can take O minus. So ethylene diamine tetraacetate. So that is E D T. Here one, two, three, four, five, six lone pairs are donor. So according to Bentex, this is famous E D T A hexadentate. Next, another classification also we are discussed in the ligands.
So this uh, bidentate, tridentate, tetra, hexa, these are also called as polydentates. So more than one donor. So we call it as a polydentate ligand. Next, we are discussing the flexidentate ligands. See, the name itself is flexible. Suppose the ligand which is the ligand which donates. loan pays which donates a loan pays according to according to metal demanding so that means that ligand is flexible to the metal it is adjusted to metal requirement say suppose the best example you take EDT so EDTA, we are generally given what is hexadentate. Suppose it is any metal wants 6 means it will donate 6. Suppose if metal wants 5 only, so it is acting as pentadentate also. Suppose metal wants 4 only, so it is giving tetra also. So this EDTA is flexible according to the metal who is coming. So that's why you call it as a flexidentate ligand. Next, ambidentate ligand. See, ambidentate means the ligand contains more than one donor. Next, 
these are ambidentate see that contains water so many atoms are ready to give but any one only donated so that we call as ambidentate another example also you take n o n double bond n o two is solid so you call as nitro n so otherwise o n o so nitro o so nitro o otherwise nitrite o In the NO2 group, nitrogen also donated, otherwise oxygen also donated. This combination, so you call as ambidentate like it. Next, one more thing is there, that chelating like it. So chelating, actually polydentate ligands means more than one lone pair donors. They are all given to one metal only. Then what happens? So we are getting the cyclic structures. That cyclic structure only we call it as chelation. See, chelated ligands. So generally, polydentate ligands. So polydentate means what? More than one lone pair donors. See, suppose metal is there. Suppose you take ethylene diamine only. So ethylene diamine, CH2, CH2, NH2. See, if two members are donors are there, this is also donated to central metal, this is also donated to central metal. Then what happens? It becomes a cyclic ring. So suppose you want to remove this one, you must break this bond and this bond also. So that's why chelate type is happened means that it has more stability. So the definition becomes the ligand which has the capacity to form more bonds, more than one bonds to the central metal ion in the complex. So such type of ligands, you call it as chelated ligands. Suppose chelation is increases. So the important point, the chelation increases. So then what happens? The stability is increases. Suppose if you take a tridentate, three bonds it must come. Tetradentate is combined, four bonds. Hexadentate is happened. So six bonds are mingled with the metal. Suppose you want to remove the ligand means you must break the six bonds. Then only the metal will be separated. So that's why chelation is increases automatically the stability is also increases. So these are the types of ligands we discuss. Next. So the important points in the complexes that will be over. So now we are going to discuss about the nomenclature, nomenclature of the complex compounds. So means the names. So how to write the names? Now we are going to discuss. Nomenclature of 
complex compounds. So how to write the names? First of all, whatever the compound. So in what way every compound has positive charges there, negative charges there. So you must write the first positive charge, next negative charge. Always any compound. So ionic. So first you write positive, after that you must write negative. So first we discuss about. First discuss about a positive charge. After only. So later. Later we are discussing about a negative charge. This is the first point. Suppose I am giving one example. So K4, Fe, Cn, take M6. So here it is positive, this is a negative. So here four positive charges are outside, four negative charges. So first we are discussing about positive charge. So that's why this compound is started with potassium. Next and so on. Next later points we are going to discuss about. That. Next here. Second. So first we are discussing the positive charge. Next negative. The negative is the complex sphere. So the complex sphere. So complex sphere contains central metal and electrons. So by explaining the complex sphere, first you explain about ligands. First we explain about ligands. After discuss about central metal ion. So first point is first we discuss about positive charge, and next we discuss about negative charge. While going in complex sphere, complex sphere contains ligands also, their metal is there. So first you must discuss about it with the ligands. After that only you are going to discuss about the metal. So now the third point we are going to discuss about ligands. So third. So we are discussing about the ligands. A. If complex sphere contains if a complex sphere contains same number of same type of same type of ligands more than one then they call it as One is there, mono. One is there means mono. Two is there by or di. Three is there tri. Four is there tetra. And five. So so on. Penta. So 5 is there, you write as a penta and so on. So now we are taking an example of K4, Fe, Cn, taken 6. So first we started with potassium. Okay, potassium is over positive charge. Next we are going to complex. In complex, first we are discussing about ligands. So same type of ligands are how many? 6 are there. So